Hello and welcome back to my Steam Backlog. Today I'm uh, playing the interesting uh, looking Swords and Soldiers with, uh, and here to help me commentate on it is Paul from IRC Gaming. Hey there. And so the idea of this is it's a sort of a, um, a base defence game. You've got your um, Vikings over there on the left with your base and your bucks and wenches who are going out and getting money for you, for you to spend on further uh, troops and, and upgrades and so on. Um, he does not look comfy see, um, sat on top of that ship. <laughs> He does not look comfortable, no. He's also got no legs. Oh! He's leg legless already. So, yeah, the, the idea is you can then spend the money on buying new types of units, and then once you've bought a type of unit, you can then spawn them. Okay, that they makes then. sense. So the Berserkers then wander forwards and will attack any enemy, in, enemy units they find. And, of course, they're evenly matched, so you get two of them dying at the same time. I've got, to admit, I've, I've got a guilty pleasure in tower defence games. You know, like even the horrible old Flash ones. <laughs> They're just a great thing for wasting time with. <laughs> I know what you mean, and to an extent, yes, tower defense games have some interest. The problem is, this doesn't even have any strategy, any significant strategy in it, because your guys just walk forwards all the time. You can't tank rush because they just they just walk forward as soon as they start moving. You've got healing spells you can cast on them, but it took me about well several tries to work out how to use the healing spell because you need to click about about a head's distance above their head in order to cast it on them rather than just you know actually clicking on the unit you want to heal ah because you're like god you're casting it from the sky <laughs> i guess so yes um so i mean it, it became fairly obvious to me that this is a um a computer port of what i assume is a mobile game because there's just big buttons that you poke to do um, to do all the things in it so I, so I think that probably explains the lack of depth in it. It's intended to just be a something to poke at when you're bored on a train or something like that. Can you upgrade your troops? You can't upgrade them, um, but there are a few spells and a few different types of troops you can you can uh, create. So and I, I took the standard approach for this sort of thing where you make as many of the uh, resource gathering units as possible to start with to get your economy yep. going, and then start building up your troops once that's done. And since the um, the enemies don't really attack until you start to attack them. Um, you get a bit of a chance to do that. So here we've got the second type of unit. These are axe throwers who um, have, a, have a ranged attack. But not a particularly long ranged attack, but still ranged nonetheless. Um, and they also move a little bit more slowly, which spreads your troops out so they can't support each other properly. Are your um, little mines made of literal gold? <laughs> it looks like it, yes. <laughs> So I guess you're going in mine there and just scraping bits off the wall. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But once you do get a decent number of squaddies together, then you have a reasonable amount of... Um, you, you can sort of mass that mass attack the enemies, and yeah, it's reasonably effective. Yeah, so it's one want... of those games that's relative, that's quite easy until it suddenly isn't. Yeah, you want a, you want a really high DPS, so as many forward as possible. So they yes, don't get exactly. as much chance to attack before they're dead. <laughs> Yes, and so at this point, at this point, it was that was relatively easy to do because um, the enemy weren't all that. It wasn't all that difficult, um, and yeah, so you can just keep spamming the health, of, um, the heal, the heal spell, and hope for the best. And I, it, it sort of went okay. I kind of expected um, you to come out of your tower to go and uh, attack the boss on the other side. <laughs> yeah, sadly, it's not a. You, you can't use your king at any point. So. It's a bit of a shame. It's not like uh, what was it? Oh, it was the um, uh, that real-time strategy game, um, t t t Total Annihilation, where oh, yeah, yeah. You, did, you had sort of one, you had your sort of your your king piece. It was immensely powerful, um, but if you if you lost him, you lost. Yeah, because it could oh, do West, everything like heal and all sorts. Well. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, because it could do like heal stuff and everything at the same time. And then you got Titans, didn't you, in that game? That was fun. I don't remember. I didn't play a huge amount of it, to be honest. Um, oh, really? I'm not sure why not, but I never really got all that into it. There were a couple of sequels. It got um, pretty um, cool in some of it. Got like a huge tower room robots and killer spiders and all sorts of stuff. Nice. So now I've um, picked up another spell. I've now got the lightning bolt spell, and the enemy have picked up tower. Have got towers that they can build, and the you basically put a guy in the tower and. I don't know why you. I don't really know why you would. Just sort of gives, I suppose it gives you a turret, but beyond that, it doesn't give many. It seems to give many extra protection. But you know, I don't know. You're on a lower uh, path. Have you got? Yes. Are you? Have you got to go all the way to the right to go up or something? Or? No. There's a. There's a mechanic where you can choose whether you want to take the high road or the low road. 
and ah. still be in Scotland before you. Um, and you, essentially, you... there was there seemed to be little difference. One of them had more treasure and more enemies. The other had less. So I, I think I took the easier route to this particular ca uh, case because I seem to have plenty of money. Um, I, take it, I take it the blue chest is mana. Yes. Yes, you can you can buy upgrades to how fast your mana regenerates. Um, I don't know if I've actually got any at this point. Uh, but generally, I found it seemed to be early on you were always short of both resources, gold and mana. And then later on, perhaps I'd, I'd sort of forget to make any troops for um, a minute or so. And yeah. like I have done at the moment, and then I'd have enormous amounts of money and could just spam them out. Although in this case, they've uh, they got all the way to the end of the level, and that was another victory. <laughs> it's it, it's almost not a tower defense game; it's almost like a magic game because it seems like it's it's really the spells you're casting that's really doing anything. <laughs> yes, they do. They they make definitely make a big difference. I don't think you could win with either uh, either alone. You you kind of need to use both at the same time. Yeah. But it did it did feel quite shallow as, as games go. Uh, I have to admit. So. How how long ago was it that you got this one? <sighs> I have no idea. I think <laughs> I got back when Humble Bundle first launched. I, I oh <laughs> bought several of them because they were actually they were releasing games that I wanted. So I'd buy a bundle that had a game I wanted and some shovelware. And so now I'm playing through the shovelware. <laughs> I've got it. Oh god, I actually logged into my Humble Bundle account for ages. I'm kind of scared. There's going to be loads of scrap in there. <laughs> <laughs> I've been... I, I think I, I never had the uh, subscription. I'd just buy the, um, the bu a bundle when it had a game in it that I wanted. So I, when I, whenever I bought one, I would then copy it all over to the um, to my Steam account. So it's all, it should all be in there. I think, thinking, I think one of the main things I bought from Humble Bundle was their uh, kind of their editing packages. You know, with Sony Vegas and all that stuff in it. Oh, okay. Because they're actually That's pretty good value. That, that might have been worthwhile. Yeah, I've heard good things about um, Sony Vegas. Uh, but yeah. Oh yeah, and they've got these monkeys that will, whenever they're attacked, they will teleport forward a few, um, a, a certain distance. So they were. Um, they ah, like sneak a rush unit. All your troops. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So oh, I was hitting them with the lightning bolts. Maybe that's what the towers are good for. Oh, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know if we could build any in this level. Um, you have to. You have to have a special, specific foundation for them. No stereotypes of China going on at all. <laughs> yeah. So you've got the stereotypical Vikings, the stereotypical Chinese people, and then there's also stereotypical Pacific Islanders as well. <laughs> it's all um, a little bit racist uh, in, in a sort of very Avenue Q kind of way. In a fun way. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, you got an achievement for that. Woo! <laughs> And there's some sort of cheesy plot about having to go and try and find all the resource, all the uh, supplies you need for a barbecue that um, the, the evil Blackbeard the pirate has stolen from you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure, surely, surely you've got to go and get beer as well, being a Viking. Uh, the, uh, did, I don't remember it mentioning beer. There was a lot of barbecue and barbecue sauce mentioned. Perhaps it's just assumed that you already have the beer. I just realised it's got the iconic double-horned helmet that no Viking has ever worn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, at least it's um, equal op equal opportunities offensive. Oh, now the um, these these um, offensive Native American types have uh, have found their way up to um, to attacking my uh, gold collectors. Uh, oh, are they actually attacking? Oh, do you have yeah. like miners? Are they special characters? Yes, the the um, the women with the colossal boobs are the miners. Oh, I wondered if they was barmaids. <laughs> <laughs> Probably that too. <laughs> but no, they're the um, they're the they're, workers. No. They're they're your imps. Yeah, yeah. So you see, she's walking back. They're walking backwards and forwards with the with sacks of gold. Because um, it's normal for women to be walking around with all the gold. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, there were poison attacks as well that um, certain enemies had, and I'm, so there was the the, um, the, the uh, guys with the blowpipes have have will poison anyone they hit. But there's also something with lobbing um, some sort of poison grenades that had area of effect, which seemed a bit mean. He got some um, sort of cat thing as well. Yeah. I don't really know what those guys were, apart from slightly faster and more and melee types, and they lunge forwards like that. So, hmm. I think your strategy's falling apart. You could do with getting more of your men closer together. I think. Yeah, the problem is they start moving forwards as soon as you make them, so it's very difficult to get them together. They only slow oh, down when they're attacking something. You can't pause them or anything. No, none of that at all. <laughs> it's not really a strategy game, then. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very, very sort of 
very simplistic one. The strategy is lim more or less... Yeah, they've managed to get all the guys together because they were all attacking the same one, which is a bit unfortunate. Can, can you choose now? Oh, what? Could you have chose to go on the lower path? Like, even though you'd gone on the top yes. path? Yes. So those those signs uh, with the arrows on, you, uh, can allow you, on. you can click on them and they will point up or down and you can choose ah. where you go. Oh, there we go. I've thrown enough men into the meat grinder now that I'm starting to um, make a little bit of progress again. Where where do you actually get the meat for the meat grinder, or, or do you just buy these guys with gold? Just buy them with gold. There is. Um... You have a ton of gold. <laughs> yeah, that's that's because I've built up enormous an, an enormous army of wenches wenches to start with, and then oh, I sort of, yeah, and then sort of forget forget to um, uh, forget to make make troops for a couple of minutes, and you get and then you just, and, the, and the gold just piles up. So, yeah. <laughs> It was. I found that once you'd bought all the upgrades you could for a level, or at least all the upgrades you wanted for a level, um, oh, no, as soon as you for as soon as you forgot about making troops for a couple of seconds, you had enough gold for uh, for the entire rest of the level. You could just churn them out as quickly as you wanted. Ah, uh -huh. it seems you actually see a lot of that um, type of problem with them um, early strategy games, where if you went for all of the base minions or base builders or whatever, you generally always had so many resources later on that you just stormed through the level. Hmm, that makes sense. It's, I think the only way to avoid it is for the um, enemies to come back, to attack you early on, so you, to, to force you to start building troops rather than resource gatherers. So. When, you've, oh, when, you, when you've got far enough like across and you're like where their gold mines are, do you take over their gold mines as well? Um, you can certainly rest stop them using their gold mines by killing all of their, um, their hard m miners. Um, but I don't think I don't think your troops actually go out to use their gold mines because your li your gold is limited by how many people you've got going to get it rather than the what's oh, the mine. Oh, they're, they're in a capacity on the mine or something like that. I don't think so. Oh, and here we go. I've got the um, ice hammer guys now. They um they so they, they do a couple of things. They they've got um when they hit they can uh, freeze their fr uh, freeze whatever they hit for a short amount of time and they've also got these sort of charge effect where if you cast it on one of them they'll run forward a certain distance gathering up anyone who's who they go past so that is a way of actually pulling some of your troops together you, you're fighting a sphinx i think i'm not quite sure what it is <laughs> it's sort of got the hair it's got the hair of a sphinx or the headdress of a sphinx but it looks like some sort of troll or a I'm golem yeah, something like that. I'm not really sure. They were quite tricky though, because their um, ground punch attack will basically knock back anyone who's anywhere near them. Ah, uh, AoE. So, yeah, so at this point I was trying to get some the um, more of the freeze guys and some more of the axe throwers to just try and do something about them. Um, I'm not sure why I hadn't unlocked the um, lightning bolt at this point. That would, that would did help a lot later on. I, I guess I just forgot I had it. I mean, I suppose the real question is, how are those guys with the ice hammers keeping them frozen in the desert? <laughs> <laughs> Magic. <sighs> oh, of course. You're, keep, you're keeping them there. Oh, they've the got quite a few the giant guys. Are, um, are, are, well, just are. Now, that's just a really, really big, annoyed Viking in a set of armor <laughs> I've made of gold, of course. <laughs> yes. Well, this is Aztec land, I think, now. Um, is, it Az or, is it Aztec not, or Egypt? Is that it the could same be, place? I'm, I'm honestly I'm not, not sure. sure. I'm not sufficiently up on my um, mis miscellaneous stereotypes. <laughs> but the odd thing is, the, the rate you can actually produce troops at is defined by how many different types of troops you've got. So because I've got three different types unlocked, I can make three at a time, one of each. Ah, that makes sense on the phone, because on the phone you'd have your three fingers and just tap over them, wouldn't you? Yes, I guess I guess so, but I mean, I guess I, I, I'm used to the Command and Conquer thing where you have a barracks that will produce your troops for you. But, um... Oh god, Command and Conquer, I haven't played that game in ages. <laughs> no, me either. But it was, it formed a, 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 quite a lot of my um, gaming childhood, I guess. So. Yeah, I never, I never um, beat the... Um, no, I beat Nod on the original Command & Conquer. On Red Alert, I never won as the Soviet side, I don't think. I, I was meant to, but I went, I went the GDI side instead of the um, Allies instead. Okay. I don't remember which ones I beat or didn't beat. I, I remember finding the um, the missions where you, they give you a handful of troops and just say, here, go at this level. Extremely annoying. Um, oh, I much the, the spy a ones. One where you could just, uh, well, spy ones or the ones where you're given just a few tanks and... Uh, 
or a half a dozen half a dozen rocket soldiers or something like that, and then expect it to go through an entire enemy base somehow. Um, oh yeah, and it, it just used to be trying to find the um, fuel barrels to blow them up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the spy ones were less bad because the spies tended to have a super weapon that would take out enemy vehicle, no enemy units and buildings in a single shot. No, no, you're thinking of Tonya. Tonya was the um, SAS girl, woman, lady. Yes. Rather. But they had there was a commando in the original CNC who was fairly similar, wasn't there? He had a sniper rifle and could take out enemy soldiers with a single shot. Um, on the original Red Alert, you actually had a spy who showed up in um, a kind of suit. He looked like uh, and made noises like James Bond, oh, who had no special out. weapon, and you had to like walk around enemy nuclear factories with him, and it was a pain in the ass <laughs> because he looked like an enemy troop, so they wouldn't attack him, but dogs could detect it. Uh, that sound. Yeah, that does sound familiar. Actually, now you mention it. But yeah, those those missions I didn't like very much. <laughs> I was much happier with the base building ones where you could just build up and then do a tank rush. Yeah, me too. I mean, I, I, my actual favourite one was doing a cruiser rush. If oh you, yes. If you remember the Allied cruiser that could shoot like yeah, halfway Redler. across the map. <laughs> yeah, those are amazing. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, and I, I unlocked a snowstorm attack, which you know, just freezes all the enemies for a few seconds, uh, which is quite good when there's a massive. Um, flood of them come towards you because it's an area area of effect weapon. Is that what the time left is? Or is that um, the level? No, time? the time left is until um, until I think I think I had to set, had to keep the level safe for that long or something like that. Uh, not lose for that long. Oh, you're but doing yeah, a the, defense type mission. Yes. But the snowstorm thing was quite effective for the uh, the big golems. Haha, <laughs> I trap you with my big ruby spear. Trap you where? <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly some cages appeared from no as if from nowhere. Probably the enemy's got their own little spell book. <laughs> yeah, I imagine so. Uh, it wouldn't be fair otherwise, I suppose. Looking at the um, little status bar on the uh, bomb, it seems that you've got a lot more um, troops out. Yeah, I've probably just been churning them out at this point, but they, they, then they've got the um, the sea. Well, they're not quite a siege weapon. They've got. I think it's a lot of theirs are hidden in the fog of war, and they're all just on top of each other. Ah, I see. So that orange blob in front of my guys is at least half a dozen of the uh, <coughs> dark blobbers. I see. It's, it's advanced. You've got fog of war and everything. <laughs> yeah, very, very much so. There's, um, yeah, no expense spared here. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's it's kind of a quirky hand-drawn thing, but the actual graphics don't seem that bad. It's quite um, friendly yeah. to look at. The graphics are, are, are quite nice. I, I, I'll definitely agree there. But um, the game, unfortunately, the game itself, it was. I mean, I I played it for ten minutes, thought this is rubbish, but I should probably play it for a bit a bit longer so I can actually put a full episode together. Um, <laughs> and then I suppose I got about half an hour into it, about this sort of point, and yeah, my brain had turned off, and it was um, <laughs> it was reasonably enjoyable. Well, it's always nice to have a holiday. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh my god, there's hundreds of them. Yeah. That's, that's, I suppose, where the challenge comes from. But I've got these, um, I've just... Oh, the timer was until my catapults arrived. So I've got some catapults now that will hopefully, um, I don't know, allow me to get through these masses of uh, enemies. Oh, no, they like grenade launchers. Yeah, AOE. <laughs> <laughs> With more ice. Where is all this ice coming from? <laughs> <laughs> Are we shipping Vikings, it all the way from... The Vikings are all about cold. Are we shipping it all the way from... It's it's not Norway where the Vikings originally came from, is it? Is it? It's um, Sweden, I think. Um, With the first Vikings. Somewhere in Scandinavia. <laughs> Scandinavia. <laughs> hey, hold on, have you? Ah, God, I didn't get a chance to quickly look at the map. How far away are you from the end here? It doesn't look that big a map. Um, unless there's multiple maps. Well, I'm about halfway through the video, and I, um, I, I, I failed what I think was probably the last level. Spoilers. Um, so... <laughs> I don't think you're going to spoil much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as I was saying earlier, it's, it's one of those games that is... Um, oh yeah, zombies now. Um, it's one of those games that was really easy, or at least relatively easy. You just keep pushing the buttons, and, and it, it, as long as you don't do anything too stupid, it wasn't... It was difficult not to win put it that way yeah um, and it, then t until suddenly it got very until suddenly in one go it got very very difficult it's, it's like one of those games that they just happened to have made on a game and then someone went hey we could turn this into a pc game just by running it through a converter yeah <laughs> thing. i think so <laughs> oh now you've got them um, statues with laser eyes yes 
So yeah, may maybe the original mobile version had some sort of pay-to-win thing where you could unlock um, more gold so you could make troops faster at the beginning of the game or something. I, d I don't know. But as I say, I got to what I think was probably the last level of the first campaign and lost. And at that point, I um, I won't say I gave up because it got to about the, the amount of recording I wanted to make. So I stopped at that point. <laughs> are, are these meant to be Mayans? Because we're in a forest. <laughs> if you think you recognise what they're supposed to be, then you're probably right. I suspect. <laughs> Would it have been that hard to have been accurate with these people? <laughs> <laughs> well, you did say yourself the Vikings have got the horns on the outside of the helmets. That's true. Oh, sorry, hold on. Yes. Uh, uh, and the ginormous double axes that almost no one uses because they weigh a ton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the uh, the Blackadder line. You haven't seen, haven't seen a war, haven't, there hasn't been a war fought this badly since Hagar the Horrible, High Chief of all the Vikings, ordered 10,000 helmets with the horns on the inside. <laughs> Oh, black out of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I was a bit short of gold at this point, so I was just trying to try and mass producing the um, axe throws, because they seem, they seem to be more effective. Especially against the um, blow dart guys, because they can attack from a bit further away. Does the red 10 next to your room bar winches on the very left mean that you've got a maximum of them? I believe so, yes. Yeah, so there's a, there's a limit to how fast you can have money coming in. Uh, which is probably a good thing. We get even more ridiculous. Yeah, I think I did. I was, did I get to? Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm trying to unlock the um, catapults again. I can't. I can't remember. It was a, f a few days ago as I played this. But yeah, they are a bit um, a bit OP. But then the fact that I can just continuously make more and more troops is also fairly OP. The worst one was these um, shaman guys who who raised who just kept raising zombies whenever whenever you uh, took out the ones in front of them. Um, eventually I realised that obviously you're supposed to use the lightning bolt attack on them, but I don't have enough mana at this point to lightning bolt them re um, reliably enough. So, Oh, does it use a lot of mana for the lightning? It uses a fair amount, um, and the problem is at the start of the le level you haven't built up your um, mana production, which requires a couple of upgrades through the upgrade menu, which requires quite a lot of gold, but then you need the gold for producing your troops, so yeah. And you're also I was also trying to use mana to keep my troops alive by casting heal on them. You know so, what? I'm, bear, bear in mind, you guys are meant to be the Vikings. I'm so surprised that there isn't one thing in this, and that is when you call down the lightning guy, your um, boss guy at the other end strikes Thor's hammer. <laughs> Funny you should that. mention that. Oh God, what? <laughs> it comes. There is Thor's hammer in this, isn't there? Yes. <laughs> there have to be. I just knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, if you ask, I suppose especially with um, with the. Um, with a bit of assistance from Marvel, if you if you ask anyone about Vikings these days, then um, <laughs> Thor, Thor's hammer and Mjolnir are going to be more or less top of the list, aren't they? Oh, that yeah. was—I don't know if you saw that sort of bundle over there on the left-hand side, but that was the um, rapid advance and gather all your friends with you as you go thing, so you can actually bunch your troops up a little bit so they don't get slaughtered one at a time. Oh, that's cool. I mean, the only the only problem with a bunch of troops is those big um, whatever the heck they are, because mm. they, because they're going to hit every troop when they do that. Yeah, I eventually, I, I learned, I mean, it's it's, a bit, it's sort of the rock, paper, scissors thing, like most strategy games are. You need to get your, um, learn the, the way to deal with each individual type of troop. And the shamans with the, with the uh, big jeweled staff things, the trick is to hit them with a lightning bolt before they raise too many zombies. And yeah. the big golems, you cast snowstorm on them so they can't punch your guys, and they just get destroyed pretty quickly. Because they are kind of glass cannons. They They do an enormous amount of damage and they're hard to hit. But if you freeze them so that you can hit them, then you can just do enormous amounts of damage to them very, very quickly. So hold on, how many have you got? You've got the normal guys, you've got the axe throwers, you've got the ice hammers, and you've yep. got the catapults. So you've got four on your side. I'm assuming the catapults are meant to be the um, alternative to the big ogre things. I guess so. And uh, I think yeah, there, is, there was a choice as to which um, side you played, and the Viking side was the was, was sort of the first episodes as well, which is why I started with them. So yeah, it makes sense in theory they're sort of vaguely balanced. Um, but as I say, he's it, just finding the right the right way of dealing with each individual thing. The uh, snowstorm to freeze the, the big guys and the lightning bolts to take out the uh, shaman. Yeah, I mean, once you've got to the right-hand side near their base, there's not really much they can do, because you're going to have a huge army of troops coming behind you. Yeah, you saw how quickly that their, their, their um, tower went down then. So yeah, it's it's as I get, it's like you were saying with um, strategy games. Once you start, once you get your sort of your role started, 
then yeah. it's um, it's relatively easy. It's just getting to that point. And I think the CNT games are like that. Once you've got your bit, your massive um, tank rush army together. Oh, this is the giant magical chili you're trying to uh, get for your barbecue barbecue sauce. <laughs> But it's been used for mind control, and which is why Blackbeard is attacking you because it's, 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 they've used mind control on him and his troops. Um, what to get a chili? No, the, the chili, the, the magical chili, has been used by the Aztecs to mind control Blackbeard. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's very historically accurate. Are we are we gonna are we gonna be in like uh, Spain or Mexico? Seems like we're talking about chilies, or where are we now? <laughs> Oh no, we're um, still in uh, we're still in either we're still in Mayan slash Aztec country. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, with the Jaguar warriors and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, as as we as you were saying earlier, it's sort of generally it's it's presented quite well. The game looks quite nice. It's it's the sound effects are cheesy but quite but sort of quite good. Um, it's just a rather simplistic game. <laughs> I don't know, my, my, my brain's saying this would be really fun to program an auto-clicker for, because I think it just worked <laughs> really well. <laughs> You'd, yeah, you might struggle a little bit with some of the spells, but other than that, perhaps, yes. Oh, oh yeah, so here we go. You, you see, I'm, because I'm quite early on in the game, I am out, essentially have no resources, so I'm spending money faster than, or trying to spend money faster than it's coming in. I've got no mana left to cast Lightning Bolt on the, um, on the Shamans. So there's zombies overrunning every or skeletons overrunning my positions. And it's a bit tricky. They've got a catapult. Yes, that's that's because they've um, taken over Blackbeard, so there are Vikings in there as well. You can see oh, just behind the catapult is one of the Viking axe throwers. Ah, so they have actually now got two different sets of um, troops. Yes. I don't I'm know if that's an advantage. I suspect the advantage is that they've got two places producing them, so they can perhaps produce troops twice as quickly. Um, so yeah, I just need to be more more tactical and I don't know. Click 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 faster. Yeah. <laughs> Get my mana re up upgrading faster, recharging yeah, faster. It actually looks like the worst the enemy has got is those shamans. They seem to be causing the most problems. Yes, I'd say yeah. The, the worst by a long shot were either were the shamans and the golem. But I'd work. I'd had the golem as long enough that I'd, I'd worked out how to deal with them by now. At least as long as I've got the, enough magic to do the uh, freeze spell. And again, the shaman. Oh, there we go. So I've, I've, I've lightning struck him there. Um, and those carpet bombs of the poison are quite nasty as well. What did that? I'm not sure. I never worked that one out. I think it must have been the. Um, I think it must be the, the king or something like that. Or it's, it's one of their magic things. Well, it's possible it's the shaman. I'm not. I'm not certain. I haven't seen it up till now. I'd have it's... thought with the it, it, it affects an area. So I'd have thought if anything, it could catapults, maybe. No, the catapults. I, I'm pretty sure the catapults weren't doing the. Um... Oh yeah, but this, this is the this is the other problem. Was, uh, the um, I didn't I never I didn't have enough mana at this point, so I was struggling with uh, being able to lightning bolt the. Um... I also kept wasting it, but uh, I didn't have enough mana to um, to lightning bolt the uh, um, shamans as they appeared. I was I was actually thinking of real history because in the medieval times with catapults it was great fun to hoil you know rotting cows over the wall. Oh, <laughs> that's true. Yes. <laughs> All the bodies of your uh, of their um, any of their townsfolk you managed to capture, depending on how just how mean you're being. <laughs> yep, it was lovely in medieval times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so here we go. I'm attacking their. Um... Oh dear. Chili. Oh yes, this is the point. I got to the chili now, so the um, the chili has started mind controlling my troops, which I thought was a bit rude. Why is it not mind controlling theirs? Sure, well, it's, it's, got it's the on their now. side. It's their it's their chili. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I so yeah, you can only control so many at a time. I'm, I didn't actually work out what the rules were with it. It seemed to be... It didn't seem to control anyone until they'd attacked it at least once. Um, and it, But it didn't always... But it wasn't always immediately. So maybe it, it only works at night or maybe... I, I don't know. It must have got a cooldown timer on it. It can only affect so many, you know, like within the space of time. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. So I was trying to get. I wondered if it was a distance thing. So I was trying to produce as many of the uh, range units as I could. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's me uh, dealing with the uh, shamans by lightning bolt before they've got a chance to do anything nefarious. Like You're an expert exactly. at this game. Take it to EA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh no! I thought I thought there'd been a perfectly set um, attack between the two catapults where they both destroyed each other, but no, they haven't. I, this really has the feel of one of the games that was made for a phone, like you said, but one one of the early phones, not one of the uh, more modern ones, <laughs> where they couldn't do as many fancy things. Uh, well, I don't know actually, because it's still quite pretty. Um, this is it is it was actually called so Swords and Soldiers HD, so it's presumably the HD remake of the game. Wait, hold on, why are you being mind controlled now? The chili's dead. I'm not sure. Maybe that was the last the last <laughs> strike to take out the chili. I'm um, I'm honestly not sure. I'll tell you what, that guy's doing well taking down a tower with just axes with that much metal in the front of it. <laughs> <laughs> You really don't seem to use the towers much. I wonder if that'd help. Well, it's basically, oh, oh. your first axe thrower who reaches one will automatically get into it. Oh, they yeah, automatically. They're... Oh, notes that the um, the enemy shaman is called Full Throttle. <laughs> I didn't notice that on the last on the last level. <laughs> Secretly a car throttle fan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, there you are. Um. Is that up arrow or the right side how you upgrade something? Yes, yes. You click on that and it brings up the upgrade menu and you can choose what you want to buy from there. Ah. Um, what, 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 what are we trying to get this level? Um, we're trying to protect... We've, so we've got the chili, now we're making... Apparently they're making the sauce and we have to protect it from... <laughs> whatever attacks come our way. Because the uh, the enemy, enemy king has decided it smells good. <laughs> Oh, we've got the Chinese guys back again now. I'm surprised we haven't got any um, Shung Lao references from Mortal Kombat, you know, with the flying brimmed hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and these guys, they've also got they've got another troop uh, type of troop now. These they're grinning chaps fire ro fire rockets at you because, uh, of course, the Chinese are known for their fireworks. Oh, they was yeah, but they were the first ones with them, weren't they? Because they made um, that rocket artillery. Oh God, what was it called? Okay, oh. so it's, yeah, so it is historically accurate, then, which is good to know. Well, well, it used to actually be delivered on a huge wooden cradle to the battlefield and shoot 50 very small rockets into the approaching enemy. Okay, so it's like a battery of um, archers, essentially, yeah, with slightly but... explosive... Um... Well, this was really, really far back. There we go, here's Thor. Oh, wait, well, hold on, why are you fighting Thor? We're not, he's uh, just... Ah! He's helping. Oh, he's helping you. Thor's hammer works as a sort of... Very, very poor Tesla coil. It gets destroyed after about 10 seconds. <laughs> I prefer the ion cannon that I see and see. Yeah, hey, all, the, uh, all the nukes you got later on. That was quite good. I think the most OP thing was the iron curtain on the Russian side. <laughs> oh, that was the thing that made things invulnerable for a little yeah. while. Wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, or the... Um, or the, the what was it called? The oh, chronosphere that allowed you to teleport a, a unit or a few units just to wherever you felt like. As long as you didn't teleport anything with humans in it. <laughs> was that what it was? I can't remember. It's been a long time since um, I played. It killed any humans that was in If you transported an APC that had like five troops oh, in it, it right. killed them. <laughs> that was probably just to stop you doing the extremely cheesy tactic of teleporting an APC into their base full of engineers and taking over their construction yard. Oh, I never thought of that. Of course, yeah. I used to do that with the underground miner in... Um, oh, whichever one it was. Was it Tib Sun, I think? Had had the uh, the the um, the mole miner thing. It was an, basically an underground APC, so, so it could, you could you could have it surface at any random point on the map, unless the uh, your enemy had put concrete down. I'm, I must admit, my cheat. Oh god, I think I'm losing this one. But my my um, favourite cheat for Command and Conquer was putting like ten barracks up and mass spamming rifle soldiers, <laughs> just constantly a wave of them. Yeah, I think this was the one that I actually lost despite having Thor's help. So uh, yeah, no, we should probably wrap this up now. Uh, so yeah, um, in summary, not the best game I've ever played, but it did divert me for an hour or so. <laughs> Wait next week for mine. You're going to love it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos in this series and join us next week on Paul's channel for the next episode of Playing Random Backlog Games. Thanks for watching and we'll see you then.